Hey y'all, back with another video. It's Curly so Victoria. I literally wanted to make this video because I just got in the house and I've already worked out. This is post workout. Um, I went to the nail salon and now I'm actually eating some vegan spaghetti right now that is like freaking bomb. I, if I eat tonight, I know that sounds bad, like maybe like, does sis eat? I'm just saying if I eat again tonight, because right now it's almost five o'clock, first meal of the day. I've had water. I had an iced coffee with almond milk, no cream, no sugar. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I had beverage wise today. And then I'm eating vegan spaghetti, like I said, which I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not really one of them girls who like leftovers like that. And I know somebody going to come in the comments and be like, bougie. No, not bougie. I just, that's kind of how I feel a lot. But I am a stickler for some leftover vegan spaghetti. Oh. Mm. The first day I cook vegan spaghetti, it'd be good. But I really can't wait to day three. Or, you know, something because, oh, it's something about leftover vegan spaghetti. Whoa! Something about it. Oh. I don't mean to hype myself up, but this is bomb. If, I, if you ever get some of this, you are special. Uh, if I've ever made this for you, or you've tasted it, you are nothing but special. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not even going to lie. I might have to holler at a few restaurants to see if I can put my vegan spaghetti recipe together. And have them sell it in stores. Because baby, baby, my spaghetti be tasting better. Than most of y'all little restaurant spaghetti. And I don't mean, ain't no shade. I'm just keeping it real. But anyway, this video, how I feel about Corona and everything going on. Okay. Personally, I'm one of those people who don't follow trends. Okay. Corona is a trend right now. And I'm not saying don't be precautious. Don't. You know, don't take caution and everything like that. But some of y'all are just doing too much, okay? You're just doing too much. Somebody sneeze, y'all looking at them like, Rona? No, you you, you look like Rona. Right. People can just genuinely sneeze because they got allergies and it's... Or cough because they was already sick before Corona. Blow their nose because they have bad sinus infections. This is getting out of hand. Like, I'm not saying, like I said, you do want to take caution. You don't want to be one of those people who are like, oh, this don't blah, blah, blah. I don't believe. I think they're doing too much. I feel like a lot of this is government, you know, um initiated and basically we're just playing in their little monopoly game their little whatever they want us to how do you have an expiration date on an outbreak how can you say confidently that august july this should be ending if you don't already have plans as to when something will end or how do we know that this isn't a time where they need to pay off debt and they're just like people are going to go to the grocery stores and blah 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 i'm not going to lie to you i've been one of those people in the grocery stores but not panicking because, oh my gosh, Corona. But if y'all are going to, quote unquote, make us have to go through your process of quarantine and stay in the house for the next four or five, you know, uh, weeks or six weeks or whatever, then regardless if you believe in Corona or you don't, you still kind of got to prepare because if you put the state on a lockdown of emergency or something like that, no matter how much I'm like, this Corona thing is doing too much, regardless I still might not be able to leave my house or go to stores if they declare a state of emergency to where we can't go anywhere but in our houses or outside our front porches. So it's like even the ones who don't believe Corona to be this this deep, 
we still got to buy things too. But one thing I did notice is my stress level is up there. Okay, sis, I'm finding myself needing to listen to spa music more often. I'm having to get projects to paint just to keep myself like literally like my stress level down because people around us are acting like chickens with their heads cut off. And quite frankly, it doesn't suit me too well. So, um, that's how I feel. Like, if you are one of those people who, you know, really feel like, oh my gosh, the world is coming to an end, newsflash, you were born to die, regardless of how you look at it. Whether it's from Corona, it's from not waking up in the morning, it's from an accident, it's from old age, it's from natural causes. We were all born to die. Please understand. Now, where you go and what happens after you die, everybody has their own belief. But what we know to hold true and has always held true is humans were born and humans have also died. So, like, where was this same, where is this same fear when you think about Am I waking up in the morning? Do y'all fear this hard that you won't wake up in the morning? Because this corona fear, why are you not fearing? Are you fearing that you're going to get hit by a bus? Are you fearing that you're not going to wake up because of natural causes? Are you fearing that when y'all go get those surgeries for y'all chest and y'all butt and y'all teeth, y'all don't think that that anesthesia can put y'all out to the point where y'all don't come back? Do y'all keep this same fear? Because y'all know the risk that comes along with things like that and you still go do it. So, what is the difference with corona? Like, really, what is the difference? So, you know, like pneumonia. Pneumonia can have you shortness of breath, can have you doing all of these, having all these symptoms of coughing and everything like that. Now we're classifying it as corona when before, you know, like pneumonia has the same type of effects. Are we this frantic about the things that are already naturally happening? I'm just, these are just thought provoking rhetorical slash if you want to comment in the comment section below questions. Because all I want is peace. And I'm not getting that because of everything else around us. You're finding yourself stressed out a little bit more because people are literally doing too much. There's riots and arguments and it's just too much. Like I said, I went to the nail salon today to get my nails done. All my nail girls, what did they do? They had on face masks, they had on all that. But I went to get my nails done. I mean, because at the end of the day, when it's my time, it's my time. It's my time, it is my time. None of us know our expiration date. So why I'm gonna stay here and let this stuff stress me into a stroke? That's what y'all not realizing. Y'all are sitting here going crazy to the point where you can cause yourself to have a heart attack. And then what? Corona didn't even strike you. It'll be just the, the heart attack. So I'm trying my hardest to, you know, keep up my fitness and keep up different things because I'm not going to lie. My stress is not coming from me. It's coming from what's around me. I'm not gonna lie, it's too much. The government needs to knock this nonsense off. Quite frankly, I can't take it anymore. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. This vegan spaghetti overall. Mm -mm. I was going to make a protein smoothie, but I don't even think I'm going to do that like a protein shake. Mm -mm -mm. When I first made this, not like my first time, but the other day, I made it up for two servings, but I didn't eat that much, so it became three servings.
this is my third serving. Not in the same day, in the course of three days. So good. So good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-